for the latest in strategic affairs, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon for more updates. Founder and editor chief uh, of Street News Global, Mr. Nitin Gokhale, all eminent panelists, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, our basic problem in the country is the pollution. The ethics, economy, ecology, and environment, these are the three important pillars of our society. And unfortunately, because of air pollution, we are facing a lot of crucial problems. Even air pollution, water pollution, and sound pollution is also a big challenge for the society. And now in the country, we have maximum pollution. It is because of the fossil fuels. Not only because of the pollution, but regarding economy is concerned. This is also a big problem and challenge to the country. We have import of fossil fuel costing more than 15 to 16 lakh crores. And that is also a big challenge and we are facing a lot of crucial problem, economic problem because of that. The most important reason is, Prime Minister already has a dream to make Indian economy of 5 trillion dollar and making India as Atmanirbhar Bharat. Particularly in this mission, first of all, it is our responsibility that how we can going to reduce our imports and how we are going to increase our export. For that reason, in the different fields, with the new technology and innovations, we need to plan new appropriate policy for the future. The futuristic technology and policies which are very important for making of new India. And that is one of the reason is automobile sector is very, very important as far as the, all these problems are concerned. Presently, the size of the automobile sector is 7.5 lakh crores. And this is the sector which is uh, creating jobs for 4 crore youth of our country. This is the sector which is giving maximum revenue as a form of GST to state government and central government. And this is the one of the important sector which is giving us a good growth rate. And that is the reason that this is the one of the important sector which is giving new economic growth to India. And that is the reason that we need to have some long term visionary policy for this sector is very important in the national interest. Today, we are, our mission in my ministry is to make automobile well industry in five years of 15 lakh crores. And I'm confident that because of all reputed automobile brands in the world now present in India, the ancillary industry is well developed. And that is the reason that our competency and availability of young, talented engineering manpower is very, very fantastic. And that is one of the reasons that we have got all type of capabilities to make our industry of 15 lakh crores. It is really a game changer that presently we have 400 startup. They are manufacturing two wheeler, electric two wheelers and making really good products the Hero, Bajaj and TBS, our big automobile industry manufacturing for two-wheeler and three-wheeler, they are exporting their 50% of the production. Now, we have just received the tender for electric buses, 5,500. And uh, the rate was coming for non-AC bus, 39 rupees per kilometer, and for AC bus, 41 rupees per kilometer. And the running cost for diesel bus in Mumbai uh, for best is coming 115 rupees per kilometer. 
I have full confidence that if we can may have the potential of at least 8 to 10 lakh electric buses in the country. Presently, we have 1 lakh 50 thousand buses. Our state transport companies are in big losses. And that is the reason that we need to accept the new technology where in place of ticket we can use card or somewhere we can use our own mobile phone for entry at a time when we want to back also we can again use the same thing and by which that system can reduce the whatever the leakages in the transport that is very important because that is the reason that we have a lot of losses. Regarding diesel also there is a problem. No one can take electricity. So in electric there, there is no problem as far as the, the, it cannot be diesel people can take it from the tank but it, for the electricity it is difficult. So I feel that the new buses, particularly luxury buses on electric, not only from city service but even from Delhi to Chandigarh, Delhi to Jaipur, Delhi to Lucknow, Delhi to Kanpur, Mumbai to Nasik, Mumbai to Aurangabad, Mumbai to Goa, this type of big cities we can connect with electric double-decker luxury buses just like Europe has already got that buses. And the cost of transport will be less. We can reduce the ticket rate by 25 to 30 percent. So now we have, it's a time for the country to accept this new change. And now particularly the rise in electric vehicle, it is so attractive that presently overall sale, huge growth in sales of all electric segments, overall sales 335% increase, electric two-wheelers 660%, electric three-wheelers 150%, electric four-wheelers 300%, and electric buses, there is also a big increase in the sale. And a London transport model is really appropriate model that by which we can finance the capital for the buses. And I am confident that we have the potential of 10 lakh buses. So there is a huge potential. At the same time, we are concentrating on hydrogen. Hydrogen mission is one of the important program. Uh, for uh, black hydrogen is from the coal, brown hydrogen is from petroleum and green hydrogen is from the waste water and organic waste. So we can make green hydrogen from waste water. In all over the country, the, in the municipalities, everywhere the, the sewage water is available. Seven years before in my own constituency in Nagpur, we are selling the sewage water to government of Maharashtra for power generation and we are getting 300 crore rupees as a royalty per year. So the water is available free of cost. We can make the recycling of the water and on the basis of that now electrolyzer, we are the highest manufacturer of electrolyzer in the world now. And lot of people who are doing excellent job in Bangalore particularly for manufacturing of electrolyzer. So, we have a lot of export, 90% of production, we have already export for that. So, electrolyzer we have and at the same time generator which we want to use for that, it should be from green fuel. Already Kirloskar has invented a generator using 100% bioethanol. Ethanol rate is uh, 60 to 60 rupees liter with same caloric value. The diesel rate is 110 rupees. So as far as the pollution is concerned, we can use green fuel there. And my target, I am not sure about it, but I am expect, expecting that we can give hydrogen with $1 per kg. Now in USA, their cost is very high. So by using waste material, even we can segregate the municipal waste from which we will get rubber, plastic, glass, metals and organic waste. And we can take organic waste into biodigester to get methane from that and we can convert methane into hydrogen. So even biomass, we can use now the pearly is available. 
It's a big problem. Burning of Parali is a big problem for Delhi. Now in Panipat, from many years before we have taken the initiative with the Praj, and now Indian Oil has successfully implemented the project. They are making 1 lakh liter of bioethanol and 150 ton per day uh, bio bitumen from Parali. So now already we have a lot of project because I am working on green energy from many years, from 2004 as a mission. We have the project that 5 ton of Parali is given 1 ton of bio CNG and bio LNG successfully. 8 ton of cotton straw is giving 1 ton of bio CNG. So now the West to wealth and knowledge to wealth, these are the important philosophies. Innovation, entrepreneurship, science, technology, research, skill and successful practices, we name it as knowledge and conversion of knowledge into wealth is the future. And our young talented students, IIT students, engineering students, institutions, private organization, they are doing excellent jobs. They are doing very good research in battery chemistry. Lithium ion battery, really we have some constant about lithium ion battery. But now already we have a successful technology on sodium ion, zinc ion and aluminum ion. And the Indian Oil Laboratory of Faridabad invented the aluminum air technology. So there is a lot of huge potential that by developing the new battery chemistry, we can reduce the capital cost. We are in the process and I am confident that we will get the good solution from that. So there is no problem. Don't bother about cost of the lithium and we don't have lithium. That is not a big problem because a lot of people discussing this issue. So battery chemistry is a challenge, but we have all capability to resolve that issue. I feel that there will be no market. Now I have just inaugurated 200 double-decker electric buses in Mumbai. And the cost of the double-decker bus coming to 90 rupees per kilometer. So my suggestion is now if the manufacturer makes more production, the cost will be reduced. And there is a huge possibility that the all the companies, now some of the four-wheeler companies, the waiting list is there for getting electric car. There is no problem of charging stations and anything. When it starts, I know as a minister in the conferences, people asking me the question, if the, how they will get the power, is it possible, if the, lot of complications and people asking me a lot of questions. Now there is no problem, no charging problem. Now one of the survey taken by Bajaj and TBS, the one Indian scooter running only 24 to 26 meter per day and our scooter they are charging for 120 kilometer. So this startup they are making scooters of 70 kilometer, 60 kilometer and they reduce the cost because the cost of the battery is less. So there are a lot of people now e-vehicles are there, e-cart -E for fruits and vegetable, transport of fruits and vegetable e-carts are now available and that can be a great thing for agriculture sector. So 100% the mechanics driven e-rickshaw. When I was taken as a minister, there was a big fight. I was keenly interested to make law for that. There was a case in the Supreme Court. A lot of fighting was there and at the last we succeed. At that time, one crore people, poor people on the humanity ground, just you think, Admi Admi ko dhone ka kaam karta tha. Ye amanaviya tha, anhuman tha. Now the country, there is a mechanized driven e-rickshaw and 80 to 90 lakhs people, they get read from this problem. That is exactly the time that by using technology, we can make the life of the poor people sustainable. And this is one of the things that I feel that the electric vehicles some of the people are asking me if the hydrogen will come, then what will happen to electricity? Now I am, we are going to launch flex engine. At 28 in my house, we are launching the car of uh, Toyota, Camry car on 100% bioethanol. And they have 40% they are generating electricity. And in, in the language of average, the 25 rupees per liter petrol average that is cost of the petrol will be 25 rupees per liter that we come to in the hybrid vehicle so lot of invention is going on in due course of time 
Mercedes, BMW, Toyota, Hyundai, all are in the process of making flex engines. So there is no problem. Even I always telling to the people that ये समुंदर है, जिसमें जितनी ताकत है उतनी आजमाओ, तो भी तुम पूरा नहीं कर सकते. Now we have uh, availability of 450 crore liter ethanol. For adding 20% petrol, we need 1,000 crore liter. In diesel generator, we are using 2,000 crore liter diesel. And if we start flex engine, even the TBS, Hero and Bajaj, they already have the models, two wheelers, which flex engines are there, 100% bioethanol. So we can use in place of petrol bioethanol. It is a fuel from the former, green fuel, same caloric value. So I feel that 100% it is going to give new strength to our agriculture and rural economy. And there is a huge potential and huge demand for that. Either it is biodiesel, bioethanol, bio CNG, bio LNG, electric, green hydrogen. Everywhere there is a potential. And now the hydrogen, green hydrogen is the fuel for the future. With electricity, we need to concentrate on green hydrogen. Just Germany has run one train, 1,000 kilometer with green hydrogen. We can use green hydrogen for in aviation, in industry, chemical industry, steel industry, in tra for the transport. And even we can export energy. Today, we are importing energy. The day will come that we will export energy. So I feel that there is a huge potential for all electric vehicles. And uh, now there are some starting troubles are there. Some burning cases are there. We have taken decision. We are making standardized batteries. And also, because in the new thing, in the process when the new experiments are started, some teething trouble are there. But I feel that 100% we will resolve that issues. Then uh, advanced chemistry for cell battery storage. There is also research is going on. And today, power minister was telling me that he want to make the storage system of 50,000 megawatt electric power. That is the plan of power ministry. The scrapping policy, which already we are going to implement it and by which we are going to create more demand. One thing is, <laughs> Very, very practically true that Indian people and Indian society, their automobile demand is always increased and population is always increased. No one can stop it <laughs> because these are the two similar things that it is already already in the uh, every time the 10% increase is there. So I feel that there is a bright future for this industry and electric 100% is an indigenous fuel. Now, in our basket, 38% of the power is solar power. And now the thermal power, you know the problem as far as the pollution is concerned. But now we are on geothermal, hydropower, then we are also trying for wind power, and the green power particularly, we have the highest priority for that. Now we have a PLI scheme for the solar, and also for in the auto well industry, for semiconductor, everywhere, government is very supporting to the industry. Huge potential is there. The domestic potential is very high. At the same time, export potential is big. So 100%, here is a good future for this industry. And for charging infrastructure also, lot of government offices, corporates, even we are in NHI, we are making 670 roadside amenities, everywhere the charging will be available. So I am confident that now we are trying to make e-highway for trolleybus because the public transport system on electric is the need of the country. We are just making 206 projects of cable car, ropeway, funicular railway. Just eight days before I have a discussion with the LG of Ladakh and Leh, but the people on the hill area, now I am planning to make the, the one of the Indian startup from Maharashtra, Goa, he is successfully making that uh, funicular rail. So on the basis of that, I, I am going to plan for at least 70 to 80 projects in Ladakh and Leh for that funicular rail on electricity. So there is a potential in Uttarakhand, Himachal, Kashmir, Arunachal, everywhere. 
So 100% public transport on electricity is the need of the hour. We need to improve the quality and comforts in public transport. Without that, people will not leave that their own car. So in Bangalore, we are trying to develop the system that sky bus in the sky having 200 capacity. So new technology with new innovation on electricity, the public transport system is the need of the hour. We want to make Delhi Jaipur as electric highway. And the trolley bus cost is very less because there is, they, the trolley bus don't need lithium ion battery. So even electric truck is now open, ready for inauguration. The company has already given me the letter. One of the company has already have electric tractor. And now there is a competition in the manufacturers that how they can give the new alternative and solution on electric to the people. So 100%, I am really full confident that the future of this industry is very good. I am giving my thanks to Nitin Gokhale for giving me the opportunity. And the people like you, your support 100% is very important for the development of this industry in the country. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, wonderful. Uh, all the figures and the statistics are at, uh, at your fingertip. Uh, in fact, uh, we'll open up the uh, questions for the audience, but I have a question before uh, they collect their thoughts and uh, formulate their questions. The You've been known as a very big project man. You think big. I mean, if I remember correctly, in Maharashtra, the Mumbai Pune uh, Expressway was uh, your baby. You started it and you implemented it in record time. And you were doing wonderful uh, work in uh, the highways that you're doing for roads everywhere. I mean, I was in the Northeast for 23 years. What Northeast in the 80s was and 90s was and what Northeast is today is all thanks to you, the road connectivity that is there. Same thing you're doing in electric mobility. Uh, you mentioned about the uh, competition amongst uh, manufacturers and others. Do you also see a potential, you mentioned it in passing, that uh, there's a huge export potential for electric vehicles from here. Do you get inquiries from our neighbors, from other friendly countries on this also? Even our automobile industry, you take the name of any brand. Right. They have, now they are exporting their car from India. Even the Mahindra, Tata, they have also a big export. In South Africa, in, in different parts of yeah, the world. Anywhere, yeah. Now the companies like Mercedes, mm. Hyundai, BMW, yeah. they want to export their vehicle from India. Mm. Why? There, what is the reason? Mm -hmm. That the talented engineering manpower with a reasonable rate is available in <laughs> exactly. India. Because anything if you want to make in USA or in Europe, the cost is double. The labor cost. The is ancillary higher. industry is developed. Right. There is only competition with China. Yes. But the more how I feel that majority of the people, they are more interested to develop their industry in India and giving priority for India as their investment. So already the big company, all big brand, they want to manufacture here and they want to export from here. Yeah. So because the cost of the vehicle compare with the production cost in the their, in their country, right. in Indian scenario, the cost is less Absolutely. because the cost of the raw material, labor cost, everything is cheap. And the talented young manpower, engineering manpower is available. Ancillary industries are good. And that is the reason that I'm expecting that we will make double the expo our export. Right. Presently, we have 350,000 crore is our export of automobile industry. Right. I feel that within five years, we will be industry size will be 15 lakh crore, and out of which 100%, 50% of that will be export. And that also contributes to India's economy. 100%. <laughs> because with, with, with the, if the industry is there, we will get capital investment. Right. And because capital investment industry will get employment potential, and with employment potential, only the important thing for eradication of poverty. Wow. I'm only the thing that we need to decentralize our industry into 124 aspirant districts, the people who are socially, economically, educationally backward. Right. So my dream is, our Kisan is now, we name it as Annadata. Anna. I am telling to the farmers that you should not be Annadata, now you should become Urja Data. <laughs> and every farmer can make the, uh, uh, this green hydrogen. Right. And he can sell it. Yes. So in place of wheat and rice, 
or also wheat and rice also he will be produced True. but at the same time he has got the water free of charge available Absolutely. the rooftop solar with the godown or pre cooling plant co storage the, that will be available right. and electrolyzer cost is very less on the national highway or somewhere mm -hmm. he will establish his factory and he can have a gas station there yeah. and he can sell green hydrogen <laughs> just available. like the petrol so he can get the money from that In the so that areas. is exactly the people who are socially economically educationally yeah. backward mm -hmm. they can contribute for progress and development of our country and at the same time that is going to resolve their financial problem in the rural tribal and agriculture area true sir i think it's a visionary uh, plan that you have uh, are there any questions uh, yes this lady here first thank you sir good evening my name is khoyesh so it seems that the ministry of road transport and highways already equipped to deal with large scale usage of electric vehicles and i really appreciate that um i will trouble you for one more statistic could you perhaps enlighten us regarding the fin probable financial implications of installing and maintaining ch electric charging stations along highways actually i always telling to people that we need need based research right correct and need based development <laughs> actually there is a potential for charging station right but now when government offices every parking places mm -hmm. and your home also right in your building also everywhere the charging is available mm -hmm. and whatever the average which is coming i feel that everyone will charge his vehicle at night to his house right now the problem is when people start from going from mumbai to delhi uh, we are making the highway yeah, up to highway. end of december big highway we are going to complete that highway right so the distance is 1400 km so there we need so in our 670 stations uh, road said amenities out of which 70 work already started okay. already there is a charging station is there restaurant cafeteria Uh, washrooms right. then uh, there are some handloom handicraft shops yes. uh, different type of petrol stations uh, and anywhere. 70 hectare of the land one station one road side amenity is there right so, somewhere the area is less helipad is there okay heliport right so i feel that it is not a problem so that's and now every company is giving you the charging kit right even you can in own house you can charge your car now yes. i am using electric car right so in i i am using electric car i don't have any problem because the car is having the capacity of 400 km so when i have to go somewhere out of nagpur then there will be problem but no problem no, from no, last 7 yeah. to 8 month there mm -hmm. is no problem absolutely so i feel that this is not a problem mm -hmm. but the charging station making particularly in the city the economic viability will be less to be but charging station on national highway or on roads out of the city between 200 300 400 km then there will be need for that that's right uh, this is a young lady here yes a very good evening sir my name is anshita and i'm from op jindal university firstly i would like to thank you for the profound information that you've shared with us but i have a small question like we presently have a vast infrastructure that works on fossil fuels diesel and petroleum so how do we plan to cater these like what is the what is the transition phase planned out by the ministry actually it's a very difficult task it's not so easy actually we have import of 16 lakh crores we have got 17 crore vehicles yes and i am expecting within 5 years in india the population and automobile uh, vehicle yeah. number yeah. will be same <laughs> now in the family three people are there i don't know but you take your own example and find out the answer that's right there are four people in the family and five car and six car in the house yes and the delhi people they don't want to make any parking they are using our road as a parking <laughs> that is also a big problem <laughs> so i feel that this yeah. is the time that we have to reduce the using of one person using one four wheeler that is to be not good to for be. the country yes. somewhere if we can develop public transport comfortable public transport to the people it can be a good idea yeah. i am suggesting at well industry they should make double decker uh, electric buses, buses air conditioned buses with just like business class seats right 
right. and uh, they can go from delhi to chandigarh delhi to kanpur lucknow jaipur right. so it can be a tech to proposal true and the rate will be less because electric as a fuel is yes. very cheaper very cheap like so i feel that there will be no problem and uh, it is uh, now people was telling what is your target i i don't want to tell you any target right i am asking you question to you if you have a petroleum uh, bicycle two wheeler yes. what is the petrol cost you are paying yes. and if you have a electric scooter what will the cost you are going to pay if you have four wheeler right. what is the cost which you are paying for petrol or diesel and what is the cost paying for electricity mm. so there is a one is to 10 difference is there right so you don't need to market this idea mm. now already the company who are manufacturing electric car he is sitting here <laughs> they have waiting list for one year tata why because people feel that you don't i don't need to market it now the problem is his capacity is not that much so they are going to increase their capacity again the demand is going to increase so the best time is now everyone is now the company who are already started their production for electric cars they are getting advantage now in the total scenario i like and i really uh, have a great pleasure for that mm -hmm. the i don't want to take the name of the companies <laughs> but compare with the foreign companies the indian origin company share is increased by 5% <laughs> because of electric vehicles it's a good indication i feel that it, up to within 4 5 years you will see the change that everyone will have the electric car electric scooter mm -hmm. and 100% electric buses so i think that is your uh, thing that you mentioned in one of your uh, speeches you also talked about the concern about the high cost of electric vehicles the initial cost of buying an electric vehicle i think but you said you are trying to bring them down. i mean the manufacturers are trying to bring Now them the down now the lithium ion battery cost is every time it is reducing but when the number will be increased for manufacturing the right. cost i feel that it's my expectation estimates that within 2 year the cost of electric car and petrol car will be will same. be at par yeah hmm. within 2 years cost of electric two wheeler and petrol two wheeler will be the same which will also reduce consumption of petrol fossil fuels and, uh, and the import bill मैं तो कहता हूँ ना कभी कभी कि इस देश से पेट्रोल डीजल को भगाना है ये देट इज द मिशन फॉर मी दैट्स ह्यूज राउंड ऑफ अपलॉज फॉर वॉट ही वॉन्ट्स टू डू एक्चुअली वी कैन टेक कपल ऑफ मोर क्वेश्चन यस शांतम हियर एंड देन आई एल कम टू यू Good afternoon, sir. My name is Shantam Gupta. I'm a second year student of Simbaise School of International Studies, Pune. So my question is regarding: in contemporary period, a large number of electric vehicles are being used in India. But how the government or the uh, private companies are addressing the fire accidents happening with the electric vehicles, which which is really concerning for the customer as well. Fire and smoke. It is already there. We have just fixed up the standards. Right. Yesterday, I have meeting with the two-wheeler manufacturers. Mm -hmm. and we are in the process of making of standard good standards mm -hmm. and i feel that my personal suggestion to all of you don't be hesitate right when any new thing start some teething troubles are there even we are now making all the uh, standards for that we are concerning iits expert people sure. we have a expert committee and we will resolve this problem this is the starting trouble but in the future this problem will not come we have the industry uh, panel discussion after uh, the honorable minister departs that time they will i am sure will be able to answer your question much more in much more detail i am sure yes the young man here uh, namaskar sir uh, my name is navodai i am a second year student in global affairs and i am from bombay uh, bombay mein uh, bst buses autos bahut sara chalte hai and uh, log zyada us pe trust karte hai after local trains to the transition from diesel to electric vehicles will be tough jaise aapne mention kiya but how will you get the people the auto rickshaw drivers to get confidence that this is also a source of income jaise government ke kaise kuch subsidies hain ki itne log hoshar hain ki ko shahar mein kaun si cheez kahan sasti milti wahan line laga lete hain dekho koi charity nahi koi meherbani nahi tumhara itna fayda hai दस रुपए का पेट्रोल जहाँ लगेगा वहाँ एक रुपए की बिजली लगेगी उसको समझता है 
कि आज अगर वो दो सौ कमा रहा तो इलेक्ट्रिक ऑटो रिक्शा होगा तो वो छः सौ रुपये कमाए बिल्कुल दिन में अभी ई रिक्शा चला रहे लोग छः सौ रुपये आठ सौ रुपये रोज का कमा रहे हैं तो जो नेचुरल लोग समझ लेते हैं और इसलिए मैं इस मत कहूँ कि कोई मार्केटिंग मत करो कुछ करने की जरूरत नहीं अभी तो अगर आप हो कोई नौकरी करने वाले हैं और वो अपना पंद्रह हज़ार बारह हज़ार रुपये महीना पेट्रोल पे खर्चा कर रहे हैं और इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल आने के बाद मेंटेनेंस कॉस्ट नहीं के बराबर और बारह हज़ार के बजाय हज़ार रुपये का बिजली का खर्चा आएगा पंद्रह सौ रुपये का <laughs> तो उसको बताने की ज़रूरत ही नहीं वो खुद ही ले लेता है ये जितने पत्रकार मैं उनको पूछता हूँ भैया ऐसा होगा फिर लोग लेंगे मतलब तुम ही लोग एक साल के बाद सब लाइन से इलेक्ट्रिक गाड़ी यूज़ करोगे इलेक्ट्रिक स्कूटर पे आओगे <laughs> और मुझे बोलने की जरूरत नहीं क्योंकि तुमको समझता है कि अपना पैसा कहाँ बचाना दैट्स <laughs> ट्रू <laughs> ये नेचुरल कोर्स में होगा यस दिस लेडी ये ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन के लिए कोई कोशिश <laughs> करने की जरूरत नहीं अगर इकोनॉमिक वाइबिलिटी नहीं होती इलेक्ट्रिक <laughs> के व्हीकल की कॉस्ट और उसका कंजम्पन अगर पेट्रोल से ज़्यादा कॉस्ट होती तो सक्सेस नहीं होता तो कोई नहीं खरीदता Good evening, sir. I'm Aditi from Global Affairs, OP Jindal. I had a question regarding the disposal of these batteries after, you know, the batteries expire or something, because the disposal of batteries are, and you know, it's not environmentally friendly as well. So I wanted to know how this is going to be managed after the batteries are expired. Actually, Nitin ji ko anurodh karunga ki ab next time waste to wealth. Ji. उसका एक सेशन यही सेशन रखो जी बिल्कुल रखो ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है हाँ, देखिए नो वन इज वेस्ट एंड नो पर्सन इज वेस्ट इट इज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द अप्रोप्रिएट टेक्नोलॉजी एंड अप्रोप्रिएट विजन ऑफ द लीडरशिप दैट यू कैन कन्वर्ट वेस्ट इनटू वेल्थ राइट इट इज द टेक्नोलॉजी अतः अभी ये आपका टायर थे ना जी ये वेस्ट टायर को इम्पोर्ट करने के लिए बंदी थी मैंने इन्वायरमेंट मिनिस्टर को बोला इसको परमिशन दो और परमिशन देने के बाद ऐसा हुआ कि पूरा टेन परसेंट रबर पाउडर हम बिटुमेन में रबराइज बिटुमेन बना रहे हैं रोड की क्वालिटी सुधर रही रोड के लिए तो वो पूरा तीस रुपए किलो मिल रहा है अभी प्लास्टिक टेन परसेंट बिटुमेन में डाल रहे हैं और वो जो टायर से जो तार निकलती है उसका फाइबर तैयार करते हैं आपको मालूम है उसका कितना बड़ा फायदा हुआ डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू पियर मेट्रो और फ्लाईवर में वो मैक्सिमम इंडिया में तीस मीटर रहता है मलेशिया ने एक टेक्नोलॉजी तैयार की कि ये डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू पियर 120 मीटर होगा मैंने यहाँ आईआईटी के रवि सिन्हा मुंबई के जी। और एक डेलीगेशन भेजा मलेशिया सिंगापुर पूरे रिपोर्ट आया हमने स्वीकार किया अब हमारे यहाँ बन रहे ब्रिजेस तो दो ब्रिज पियर के बीच में 120 मीटर तीन गायब कर दिए तो एक ब्रिज मैं ब्रह्मपुत्रा में माजोली आईलैंड में बना रहा था जी। तो मैंने वो सोनवाल की कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी थी वो मुख्यमंत्री थे मैंने घोषणा कर दी वापस आया तो मुझे डिपार्टमेंट ने कहा छः हज़ार करोड़ का तो फिर मैंने नई टेक्नोलॉजी वगैरह करके लाया तो छः सौ अस्सी करोड़ में आया टेन परसेंट आ गया वो बारह हजार करोड़ की टनल थी जोजिला हम एक साल भर टेक्नोलॉजी वगैरह अध्ययन किया और टेंडर निकाला चार बार टेंडर निकाला था एस्टिमेट कॉस्ट थी बारह हमने पाँच करोड़ में की पाँच करोड़ बचा हो गया टेक्नोलॉजी नहीं आई तो ये वेस्ट मटेरियल में मैं दिल से चाहता हूँ क्योंकि ये स्टील और सीमेंट का 40 परसेंट कंजम्पन हम मैं मेरा डिपार्टमेंट करता है और मैं जितना लेता हूँ इतना ये कार्टेल बना के रेट बढ़ाते हैं मैं बहुत अनाउड हूँ उसके कारण <laughs> तो मैं बोलता हूँ इसका अल्टरनेटिव निकालो ग्लास फाइबर स्टील आया मैंने अलाउ करो अभी फ्लैश में कोई केमिकल डाल के कॉन्क्रीट बन जाएगा बनाओ सॉइल स्टेबिलाईजेशन का करो ताकि स्टील और सीमेंट का यूज कम बिल्कुल तो धीरे धीरे रिसर्च कर रहे लोग और बहुत अच्छे अच्छे नए नए मटेरियल आए हैं अभी आपने देखा क्या ग्लास फाइबर स्टील देखा है नहीं देखा बहुत सुंदर स्टील है ये स्टील से भी स्ट्रेंथ है उसके ज्यादा घर में भी बना सकते हैं बंग करो ये स्टील यूज करना वो यूज करो दैट इज गुड अभी समुंदर में मैं मुंबई में फ्लाईवर बनाए तो समुद्र के कारण वो स्टील को रस्टिंग होता है उसको कोटिंग करते थे या स्टेनलेस स्टील लगाना था मैंने कहा ये ग्लास फाइबर स्टील यूज करो उसमें तो जब अल्टरनेटिव मटेरियल तैयार होगा तो सबके जमीन पर चलेंगे सब लोग अगर दो चार लोगों की मोनोपल्ली होती है तो वो रेट बढ़ते जाते हैं। बिल्कुल धन्यवाद सर और एक लास्ट क्वेश्चन विल टेक हियर एंड देन बिकॉज द मिनिस्टर हैज टू गो बट यस गुड इवनिंग सर मैं मेरे माई नेम इज जसकीरत गुजराल आई एम ऑल्सो फ्राम दी बैचलर ऑफ आर्स ग्लोबल अफेयर्स फ्राम रोबी जिंदल सर मेरा एक क्वेश्चन था कि ये वेस्ट के रिगार्डिंग ही 
अपने इंडिया में जो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर है पेट्रोल बसेस का स्पेशली बसेस का वो जो आपका प्लान है कि आपको इलेक्ट्रिक डबल डेकर बसेस लगानी है तो दीज पेट्रोल बसेस आप इनका रिप्लेसमेंट कैसे करोगे इनको रिफिट करोगे या फिर इनका स्क्रैप मेटल करके कोई और मटेरियल निकालोगे सर दो चीज़ें हैं इसमें डीजल बस को सी बस में मैंने नागपुर में हमारे यहाँ सौ बसेस कन्वर्ट करे फिर दूसरा ऐसा है कि सी वेस्ट वाटर से मिथेन निकाल कर निकाल कर वो कर सकते हैं दैट इज़ वेस्ट टू वेल्थ दूसरा राइस ट्रॉ से सी मिल सकता है तीसरा ऐसा है कि डीजल बस को इलेक्ट्रिक बस में कन्वर्ट करने का चल रहा है फिर बंगलोर में एक स्टार्टअप है उनने मुझे गाड़ियाँ बताया उसने सब बुलेट से लेकर स्कूटर तक पेट्रोल की सबको इलेक्ट्रिक में कन्वर्ट किया तो ये भी होगा और नई गाड़ी भी होगी और दूसरा अब हमने कार का लाइफ पंद्रह साल रखा है फिटनेस लगता है नहीं तो स्क्रैपिंग करना पड़ेगा अब एक जो ट्रक पुराना जितना पोल्यूशन करता है उतना पोल्यूशन पंद्रह नए ट्रक करते हैं दूसरा उसका एवरेज भी उतना मिलता नहीं फ्यूल भी बहुत पीता है तो हमें अभी इस समय हमारे देश में पोल्यूशन का भी कंसर्न है दूसरी ओर कंजम्पन का भी कंसर्न है और इकोनॉमी वाइबिलिटी का भी प्रश्न है एक आखिर में मैं आपको एक बात बताता हूँ प्रूवन टेक्नोलॉजी इकोनॉमिक वायबिलिटी अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल एंड मार्केटेबिलिटी केवल टेक्नोलॉजी प्रूवन है और रॉ मटेरियल अवेलेबल नहीं तो फायदा नहीं है तो ये चारों बातों का इंटीग्रेटेड इसमें जब बराबर होगा तो ही कोई चीज़ सक्सेस होगी तो अब ये जैसे बैटरी केमिस्ट्री है वैसे इकोनॉमिक्स वायबिलिटी की केमिस्ट्री भी अभी ये पेट्रोल डीजल और गैस इकोनॉमी में जो रेट्स बढ़े उसको देखते हुए हम लोग अल्टरनेटिव फ्यूल में जाएंगे गैस इकोनॉमी सीएनजी एलएनजी अभी मुंबई में आरसीएफ और दीपक फर्टिलाइजर दो कंपनियां मिथेनॉल बनाती है आसाम पेट्रोलियम 100 टन मिथेनॉल बनाता है मिथेनॉल का रेट है बाईस रुपये लीटर और डीजल का एक लीटर तो पूरे नॉर्थ ईस्ट का और आसाम का पूरा ट्रक ट्रांसपोर्ट और बस ट्रांसपोर्ट मिथेनॉल पर कन्वर्ट करना चाहिए अभी बाम्बू से बायो इथेनॉल आसाम में बन रहा है तो देखो जिस राज्य अभी उत्तर प्रदेश कर्नाटक महाराष्ट्र तमिलनाडु यहाँ इथेनॉल बड़े प्रमाण पर बनता है तो वो इथेनॉल पर कन्वर्ट करें अब जहाँ कुछ भी नहीं तो इलेक्ट्रिक पर जाए जहाँ भी कश्मीर में और इधर मैं रोप वे केबल कार बना रहा हूँ तो पब्लिक प्राइवेट इन्वेस्टमेंट में वो ये नहीं हो रहा था वाइबिलिटी नहीं आ रही थी अब वो हाइड्रो पावर तैयार करते हैं तो मैंने उनको कहा कि चीफ सेक्रेटरी और चीफ मिनिस्टर तुम एक काम करो मेरी बात सुनो तुम पावर का रेट तीन रुपये यूनिट कर दो दस साल के लिए वैसे भी तुम तो दो रुपये चालीस पैसे तुमको दो रुपये में पावर मिल रही है तो वो एक रुपये करने से आईआरआर अच्छा हो गया वाइबिलिटी आ गई प्रोजेक्ट अभी क्लियर हो जाएंगे पब्लिक प्राइवेट इन्वेस्टमेंट्स हैं कल मैं अपनी कौन सी फाइनेंशियल कंपनी मॉर्गन क्या मॉर्गन स्टैंडली मॉर्गन स्टैंडली उनके कार्यक्रम में ओबेरा में था तो मैंने उनको बिठा कर लंदन ट्रांसपोर्ट का मॉडल समझा और मैंने बोला गवर्नमेंट की गारंटी मत मांगो तुम ऑपरेटर को इलेक्ट्रिक बसेस फाइनेंस करो और एक्स्ट्रो अकाउंट खोल लो एक बस 225 से 250 किलोमीटर जाती है आपने चालीस रुपए रेट से जितना रेट है रोज जितना टिकट बैंक में जमा होगा एक्स्ट्रो पहला तुम्हारा पैसा मिलेगा बाद में बाकी जाएगा तो एक्स्ट्रो अकाउंट मांग लो और देर विल बी ट्राइपर्टी एग्रीमेंट बिटवीन ट्रांसपोर्टर बैंकर इन्वेस्टर और जो चलाने वाला ऑपरेटर है और गवर्नमेंट और बैंक में उसी से पैसे मिलते हैं आपको प्रॉब्लम है नहीं चार साल में तुम्हारे पैसे निकल जाएंगे बिल्कुल सो बाय इनोवेटिव मॉडल नॉट ओनली इन टेक्नोलॉजी बट इन इकोनॉमिक मॉडल बनाकर हम लोग कर सकते हैं दस लाख बसेस हो सकती है कोई पैसे की जैसे मैं रोड में बनाता हूँ मुझे कोई पैसे की कमी नहीं है मैं एक लाख करोड़ अब जो आपने कहा तो लोग मुझे बोलते तुम एक लाख पचास करोड़ बात करते हो तो मैं बोलता हूँ कहाँ से आए तो मैंने बोला एक बात करना ये आठ साल में मैंने जो कहा वो नहीं हुआ क्या बताओ एग्जैक्टली okay, exactly. वो पैसे की कोई कमी नहीं अभी मैं इनविट खोल रहा हूँ और मैंने तय किया कि अब मैं बड़े इन्वेस्टर के पैसे नहीं लूंगा <laughs> अब मैं छोटे छोटे <laughs> और आठ परसेंट मंथली रिटर्न तुम्हारे अकाउंट में जमा करूंगा अब बैंक डिपॉजिट करोगे तो आपको साढ़े चार परसेंट पांच परसेंट मैं आठ परसेंट जमा करूंगा ट्रिपल ए रेटिंग है तो नेचुरली मैं छोटे लोगों के पैसे से रोड बनाऊंगा देर आर ऑप्शन देर आर सोल्यूशन If there is a strong political will, if there is a will, there is a way, and if there is no will, there is only survey, discussion, seminar, committee, <laughs> conference, <laughs> sub committee, and research group. 
not like this <laughs> 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 thank you very much thank sir. You, sir he is a great innovator i think uh, we'll have to stop him he has to leave now but we'll ask him again uh, thank you very much for uh, your time and your insights so, as always uh, you have uh, innovations solutions and uh, the big grand vision for uh, big projects